Okay, welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. I recently played a mirror of this match as the Russians against the Poles, and I decided to uh, see what I could do with the Polish force, which I thought seemed rather outclassed. Um, in the match as the Russians, I fielded something like 10 units of non-light infantry. Looks like the max the Poles can do is 8. So, we'll see what we can do with that. So this is my part of the battlefield. I think the obvious play will be to line the infantry with some shooty cavalry up here and some artillery and then our other cavalry to the left to charge. Some light guns to assist in that push. I generally, if I feel like I'm gonna be attacking, I don't really bother with heavier guns, so I will not be doing that. We have two units of winged hussars by default. I think it would be worth bringing a couple more. All right. Light cavalry or non light shooting cavalry? Pistols better in melee, but bows better at shooting horsemen. I think I want some non-light shooting cavalry, but I'm going to get the cheap 36-point variety. Uh, th that would make them less useful at fighting horsemen, but and their, their fire is slightly less accurate to being only average quality. But armored and unarmored horsemen die the same to musket balls, and muskets are going to be the main problem anyway. Otherwise, I think some good light cavalry spam. Some poorly armed levies to dump in the forest. Or I could just get one more light horse. Hmm. Uh, let's get the light horse. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Uh, the shortage of infantry is the problem. If we can find a way to engage his cavalry head on, uh, we should win. If he avoids that, we'll get shot to bits. And deployment. Okay with having one light horse over there actually. Right, we'll want one unit of horse to push around and a couple of units in reserve behind the infantry to plug gaps, but the rest will support the light cavalry. Okay, that's satisfactory. All right, let's see his deployment and what he brought to the field for that matter. Maxed the, oh, no, two Cossacks, two Tatters, which probably means two Cossacks on the other flank is my guess. All the Bardish Musketeers into the forest. We're gonna have a lot of trouble shifting them, unfortunately. Artillery back there. Good call, because I'm going to have to push this space. So we can't push into the forest because these pike and shot units will get disrupted. So they both say moderately disordered, 
but uh, it's 30% for mixed foot, 22% for medium foot. So we really don't want to go in there. Uh, what we can do is line the slopes outside of the forest. So we're uphill and we are in good order, at least when we engage in a firefight. Okay, and we'll just rush our lights straight ahead. Do they see anything? Not really. Okay, so he has gone with a maxed out infantry force similar to what I did as Russians. And I felt when I was playing as the Russians and I did that, that my opponent didn't really have much of a chance. Um, so I suspect I'm going to get shot up and my cavalry won't be able to impact the battle in time. But let's see if I'm being too cynical here. Next turn. Ah, uh, yes, hello. I wonder if he'll push all of his infantry into the forest. I'm not sure what I would really do about that. Well, let's make him pay for this movement. Come on. If only I could afford more Hydex. It's an overwhelming number of medium foot. But we're committed now, so I really have no choice but to stick to the strategy. Next turn. Okay. This forest really puts me in an awkward position. Good.
really annoying that I don't have more Hydex. I just don't think I should push in yet. I'm worried that well, he can either pop attack here or pop out here, and I don't have much control over which thing happens. Still, if we can get another couple disrupts on this, we might be able to engage with our cavalry. Next turn. This is not good. We do not have the firepower for this kind of engagement. Our winged hussars need to be fighting their cavalry, not shuffling around pointlessly on the flanks here. I don't like it, but we need to venture in now, I think. Probably a mistake. Next turn. Oh, it's looking bad. Pretty bad. Hoping that would cause a cohesion fail, but no such luck. Well, 
This is a lost cause over here. Finally, come on, Let's see if we can, no, no fails, unfortunate, okay. Just chase him off. useless but not really doing much else right now this is gonna be a massacre but I suppose my game as Russians was also a massacre so it's only fair next turn Ouch, 60. Oh, that'll be a disaster. We're disordered and raw. Well, we can at least lock them in for whatever that's worth. Ah. Clip them then. What's that? Oh, I see we're zoned by them. Oh, too bad I fired. I could have... well, charging might not have been the best idea anyhow. Q. 
keep trying to arc around. It's pretty ponderous, though. To take this lance impact and hope for best. Uh, run away. Ah, grotesque. We can only hope that something stupendous happens with the cavalry, but I don't think it will. Next turn. Rather bizarrely, we're up eight points, but I don't think that's reflective of the overall situation, how things are really going. There we go. Now we're down four. That makes sense. At least we held firm around that unit. Oh no, did not think they would pursue quite so far. Too bad. It wasn't a flank attack because of where they started, but we have no impact capability with carbine as opposed to impact pistol, so goodbye. See where that takes us. They disrupt it because they're medium foot. Well, we can hope to take out this infantry, but 
even if we do, I'm not sure how much chance we have against a forest just full of musketeers. Next turn. Oh, there goes our forest. That's going to be a problem. Good. <laughs> Lucky shot. Oh, good. So this is a horrible combat, but if we can just stick long enough to have them turn around, we might be able to hit this unit uh, in the rear or flank if we can free up this unit or this unit or someone. That's a problem, though. I don't think we have anyone we can free up. So this might just be bad. Maybe it's just bad, and we should give our unit room to fall back. So, damn, they got lucky on impact. I mean, we're still doing quite well, hundred and thirty seven advantage. Shove them off the field. They might be back, but that's okay. Uh, you're screwed. So are you. Don't think I want to do that. I think I want to wait for these to come up and then engage. Okay, well, even if we do lose this, we're getting some good damage in at least. Uh, I mean, we've got this, but we don't really have an answer to this, and falling back is going to be dangerous. Next turn. Ouch. Well, at least they went that way. It gives us a little bit of time.
<laughs> okay, good. Perfect. Okay, unfortunately we're zone of control locked here, so we can't charge. So we'll just have to do what we can with fire, I suppose. Which will be not much, I'm afraid. Okay, and we might start needing these hussars over here. I mean, ultimately, the smart thing to do would be to find a way to disengage from this forest, but I don't know if that's possible to do, to be honest. Well, let's just aid in crushing this cavalry then. And you, in the meanwhile, can help form a new line somewhere over here. Oh, why not? Goodbye. Right, who can move? Anyone, anyone? A few of you. Hmm. All right. Could go either way. Next turn. That's unfortunate. We've got to clear away from this forest. Oh! Oh, that's bad. Now their swordsman POA is unlocked. We'll have to try to rescue them now. Good. Okay, this is a risk. Success so far. And we're going to take some fire and get away from that forest. Chase them into the enemy's cavalry. Thank you. Very good. 
Yeah, so you can see that now the enemy has swords and plus 100 because we are disrupted. Luckily, they're both disrupted, so it doesn't really matter at this point. They're fragged, so um, when they are steady, it's Pike 100 and cancels out our melee pistol. When they're disrupted, it's Pike 100 versus melee pistol 100. Now that they're fragged, they get nothing for their Pike. So the difference between this unit of a uh, square-shaped unit of horse, which is available to a few army lists, and your usual more shallow unit of horse, is that these are graded as horse as opposed to determined horse. So although their impact and melee capabilities are identical, um, the enemy can fall back from this unit as opposed to determined horse, which count as uh, similar to shock troops in Field of Glory 2. move here on the off chance that we can hold it in the broken ground. We'll turn away. We've got to get clear of this forest and form up in the open. Um, the bright side is that we've broken just about all of his pike and shot units and his musketeers will have trouble fighting cavalry outside of rough ground and forests. I still think we'll lose this in the long run, but I think we've got a chance. Next turn. That was not to be. Well, if we're lucky, they'll pursue off the board. <sighs> this unit's gonna get broken before it can fall back out of range. again. Yeah, they're going to get shot to bits. much cavalry to fight. Um, honestly, just turn about. Need to get out of range there, so we'll just do that. 
occupy. Yeah, this is going to get weird now as I kind of occupy the fringes and he chills in this forest. Next turn. Coming out to fight. Okay, get rid of these first off. Take a bit of fire. Don't want to charge because I don't want to pursue into charge range. Can threaten both of these units from here. Keep running. Okay, we'll break this unit for sure and lose this unit and this unit. So we need to break some of these Bardiche armed musketeers. Next turn. It's not going to help them. Lose this unit, nothing we can do. Alright, now we're all out of range of the wood though. If we break this unit and he gets no rallies, that's a victory on its own. If he does get rallies, we'll have to figure something else out. Gonna shift our light horse to fight these dragoons, though, and maybe start working on his cavalry. Getting a bravo, so looks like that's a win. All right. Well, so I did win it both ways, as both Poles and Russians, but this was clearly far more difficult. Uh, yeah, just not enough medium foot to fight effectively in these woods. And 
basically the only reason I won was that he just didn't commit enough troops on this side, so I was able to wrap around to cave them in. Uh, I think in that respect, his artillery did not serve him particularly well. Another 90 points in non-light troops to hold this sector would have been far more useful. So it was a pretty close run affair, and the other deciding factor, I think, was my ability to back off of this forest when I lost the area. Um, and again, that was easier without the presence of his cavalry. You know, uh, one or two cavalry units here in my backing off would have meant taking more cohesion checks, and that would have been dangerous. But yeah, a close game. Good game to my opponent. Until next time.